The Bridge at USC is a community of scientists that are coming together to collaborate and build an atomic resolution model of man. We've developed a program called the BUGS, the Bridge Undergraduate Science Program. One of the dreams of the Bridge is to train the next generation of scientists and engineers to think in a more convergent or holist way. Our lab looks directly at tumor cells and that's what we're interested in. So essentially we're profiling tumor cells and coming up with molecularly targeted treatments and diagnostics for patients. We're actually getting in patient blood samples every single day. Within that suspension are the tumor cells. You feel connected to the patient, you feel like you're doing something. One of the things that we want to do is get the students prepared for a professional lifestyle. Mentoring them is helping them develop their research ask those tough questions and figure out different techniques in the lab that are going to help them answer those questions. This summer, my project, which is obviously being supervised by a postdoctoral fellow, in this case, Dr. Mariano Hallis, is mainly concerned with exploring circadian rhythms and growth in plants. You're tackling the problem from a multitude of angles. You're linking molecular biology with cellular biology and organismal. So it's just learning how to work in a lab and learning the day-to-day -day life of a scientist. They actually get hands-on experience at a bench. They see the back-end work where they're writing about their work. They get to present just as a professional scientist would. I'm lucky enough to be entering my sophomore year at USC and already feel like I'm contributing to the greater good. I'm pursuing my passion for helping patients and exploring the science because that's the fun part. The bugs is specifically for undergraduate science. The Bugs Junior was nicknamed Junior because those are specifically the high school students. So those are students in the community in LA and these students are experiencing the same research intense focus program as the undergrads, but they have a little bit more of a handheld guide through how lab work and science will be a part of their lives in the future. At high school, one of our projects would be just doing PCR alone or running a gel alone. And we never really understood how that applied to the bigger picture of what we're doing. And here, Dr. Young actually goes through every step. We want to incorporate this mentality of always seeking to grow, always seeking to learn into these students' lives, these young students' lives, to encourage that pattern of thinking throughout the rest of their lives.